So we buy uh, SO239s from Matt M0 MAT, actually. Uh, and a great service off Matt. He's got an eBay shop and other stuff. Look him up if you're after connectors. So this is a standard SO239, which you can see here. SO239 has a four millimeter hole in the top because it's um, it was originally a shielded banana plug nothing wrong with it in fact jim's video of the three most popular hrf connectors which one should we use he did some really good experiments because if you've got an so239 and then you've got an n type so an n type this is actually an adapter so we've got an so239 on the back and an n type on the front you can see an n type it's got it's just slightly different okay now we are taught that an n type is best for vhf and up in fact there's some people who swear by n types but jim did some experiments and unless you've got an exceptional n type connector you are better off sticking with so 239s they're more reliable in fact, there was a big contest station in the US that did that had some N type connect, replaced everything with N type. A few years later, they replaced everything again with PL259 and SO239 because it was more reliable. And on HF, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Watch watch Jim's video, all right? If you uh, because he had a load of N types and he's getting variable results. That's the point. Not quite sure. Now then. Over the years, what I've noticed, if you buy the wrong SO239 and the wrong PL259, by the way, this is the shortest ever <laughs> patch lead I made years ago. I was just a bit bored one day. I have used it once. I can't remember what for, plugging two bits of kit together. But anyway, this has got quite a long barrel and it only just fits. And we've had, and you might have experienced this, where you screw on an SO239 or a PL259 to a uh, SO239 and I can tell that is right on the thread limit and I've nearly got a bit of tolerance it's still it's not quite mating do you know what I mean so it depends if the thread body on the PL259 is particularly long now this is it's not messy and polony, but it's very, very similar. Okay. And you'll find that the thread on a messy polony is intentionally, I think, a bit smaller because when we screw this on, I can still see three threads there. So in other words, not all PL259s are the same. If you get the modern ones, they normally work very well. Now, so I'm contacted by all sorts of people going, oh, do you want to buy our stuff? All right. And I got contacted by this, a company in China, actually, to say, do you want to buy our SO2? We know you use a ton of SO239. Do you want to buy ours? I'm thinking, well, I, I go to Matt. <laughs> right. So I made it as complicated as possible because I'm not very good at saying no. I said, no, it's OK. I, I get mine, you know. And he went on and on. I said, what's it made from? And he said, well, it's a, it's a brass body, a nickel plated, a PTFE insert, you know. Now, the laugh is, in the end, I went, well, um, if I was going to do a deal, I'd want a longer thread body, right? Just, I've never had a complaint because these are the standard assemblies we, we ship with our DX commanders. I absolutely, oh, no, it's not, actually. <laughs> I'll come to that in a minute. This is the standard assembly. I've never had a complaint, okay? So in other words, that thread there must be about the right depth. And the other thing that uh, Matt and I have discussed with in the past is that the thread body to go into the panel has to be the right, the right size as well because we've got a two or three millimeter panel. We still need to get on this bit. Right. So all in all, I'm very happy with what Matt supplies me. More, more than happy. Anyway, back to this supplier in China. I said to him, if I was going to change, I'd want a longer thread body anyway. 
just why not? <laughs> you know? uh, I can't remember what he, he said. OK, well, I'll do them a, a dollar a piece or something. I don't know. A uh, dollar thirty. I can't remember. Well, he bought one hundred and thirty in the end. But <laughs> that's uh, after your opinion, because this is gigantic, right? This is a huge thread body. Some people might actually quite like a long thread body. I mean, I kind of do. So I'll just test a few things. So these are the long ones that I had from years ago. Um, that sometimes have got a bit of a tolerance. <laughs> I just think that's too long. Yeah, that's about... It looks like I've got about five spare threads. I think it's too long. All right. Is it too long? Does it matter? There we are. So I'm asking after your opinion. I mean, I've got... I'm not going to buy any more because I'll buy from Matt. And Wendy says, no, we buy our connectors from Matt. I think she wants to support, you know, small business. But anyway, I've got 130 of these. Well, I think we'll ship them. They're identical, I promise you. I've... Ooh, I'll tell you what I haven't checked. Could be a waste of time, isn't it? So that's one of that's one of the new ones, and there's the old one. Let's double check the bulkhead thread length. They're identical. Matt, I think I found your supplier, mate. These are literally identical. Everything about them. So, but anyway. Matt's a good guy. We, we'll carry on. We get a deal from Matt anyway, because he buys them, you know, millions. They are literally identical. So there we are. Anyway, if you get one with a longer thread body, I don't think it's any problem. All right. Enjoy it. All right. There's only going to be 130 of these. And then uh, we're out. So there we are. If you've got an opinion, let me know, or any anecdotes on these thread lengths, let me know. If you want to argue the toss between an end type and a PL259. Don't do it from the books unless you've got practical advice. I don't think anybody wants to listen to you because Jim's done the tests. And uh, unless it is an exceptional, you know, Amphenol or something connector, you don't know what you're getting. At least with an SO239 and a PL259 in the main, they'll just work. All right, so with that, enjoy your radio. Bit of fun today. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.